Hello. Today I'll be giving you instructions on how to complete the DMPS or DMSA Comprehensive Urine Elements Test by Genova. Both of these tests require a prescription that we will have called in for you. The pharmacy will be in touch with you as to how to pick that up or if it requires shipping to your house. Regardless of which one you start with, you must wait one week in between tests. There needs to be a week of time for the chelating agent, the prescription, to leave your system before you do the next one. Let's say you start with the DMPS. The day before you do this test, you'll need to restrict your fluids to 24 ounces. Then, the next morning, you will wake up and discard the first morning urine. You will then take the DMPS prescription and that will begin the test. At that point in time, you will then collect all your urine for the next six to eight hour period in this blue jug. We will have given you this green cup to then transfer to the jug. Keep this jug in the fridge. At the end of the six to eight hour period, you will then remove the jug from the fridge and shake it up. You've then got a pipette and two tubes. You will transfer from the big blue jug into the tubes using the pipette. Be sure to put your name, date of birth, and date of time of collection on the tubes. You will want to be sure to put these tubes in the biohazard bag provided and put them back in the box. This comes with a requisition form. We will have highlighted the necessary areas that require your attention, payment, uh, patient demographics, insurance, which this does not go through insurance, neither of them do, so you will disregard, then the payment section, either check or credit card. At the bottom, we have a signature. The front will have been filled out for you. You'll want to be sure to put that in this box. You've also got the shipping provided. So this whole box will go inside this FedEx bag. Shipping has been paid for. You will want to be sure to drop this off to a FedEx. Um, it looks like Monday through Friday. Be sure to take to a FedEx location that does accept human specimens. So you would want to call and make sure that they do so that you don't jeopardize your test not going out on time and subsequently not being able to be run. Uh, results come back in about three weeks and cost will be listed for you on the requisition form. If you have any questions, please give us a call.